Hey guys, it's your local stale human pomegranate punch here with another speed paint. But what makes this different is that there will be a little bit of a story. Um, partially because I just think it would relate to the overall piece that I made. Um, a little bit about this piece though before I get into this story. Um, this is a character I made back at the beginning of the year based off of a friend. Um, Ollie Hayes. She used to be really just not right looking, like her facial proportions were all off and you know, I had a very cartoony style at the beginning of the year and it's very much changed. So I was very glad to get this opportunity to redraw her because I had a couple of, you know, hours to just sit down and get to work. But uh, yeah, that, uh, I, sorry, the program I'm using is Mischief as always and, you know, there are a couple of things I took away from her original look. She doesn't have freckles anymore. She has a lot more of a feminine body than she did. And it's a lot more muscular and almost pear-shaped. But, um, you know. And she went from being a skateboarder to a longboarder. So that's quite a difference, my dude, man. <laughs> that's, that was so dumb. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I really enjoyed how she ended up coming out, and you know, maybe you'll see more of her on my channel now that I like her so much more and the overall design that has gone into having her. So yeah, onto the story. Alright, so the actual story is something I like to call the skating story, or the second to last day story. You know, I made up those names for it. It's just a very simplistic story about, you know, some fun I had. Uh, so it was the last week of school, and all the 8th graders are dying to get out of there. And they are so ready for summer to start. I'm right there with them. I want to get out of school too, you know. I'm just so excited to finally just get out of this place that I've been, like, trapped in for, like, the whole school year. So, I think it was the third to last day. And one of my friends, who I mentioned in previous videos, Pete the Bandit, I'll put a link in his channel in the description yet again, we're, we were just talking. We're chilling out, talking, and just having gay old time, you know, not really caring. Uh, eventually, uh, locker clean-out day popped up in the, in the uh, conversation having. And he was like, hey, do you, have, like, do you like skateboard? And I'm like... I penny board, and he tells me that, okay, we'll bring that tomorrow. And I'm just like, okay, why though? Because, and he explains, because you won't get in trouble for having your skateboard tomorrow. Because there is, in fact, this little loophole, kind of. Um, you see, you could bring a skateboard, scooter, penny board, whatever you wanted, into school as long as it was reasonably sized. And you just had to keep it in your locker for the whole day. And then once you went home, you had to take it out. That was just basically the basis of the situation. So because they were cleaning out the lockers and they didn't want people to put shit back in it, of course, uh, carrying around a skateboard would actually be normal and you'd be able to get away with it. So, um, next day... You know, me, Pete, and one other person, I'll put his channel's, a link to his channel in the description. Uh, you know, we all brought in our shit. And I only realized the third person had brought, um, his skateboarded until later, but it, it's all fine. So it was, like, second, maybe first period. And halfway through the period, it's time to go clean our lockers. So me and Pete take our skateboards and we just go to, like, anywhere. Anywhere that, like, was kind of more remote. And we had a couple of friends with us who were asking us to get on their skateboards. I said no a lot. And Pete was kind of letting them go on their boards just as a fun little experiment. But, you know, uh, everything's good. Um, later in the day, after we were given this speech by a very important speaker, 
we, um, midway through it actually, not after, uh, Pete and the third person, who I'm just gonna keep calling the third person, even though I could call them by their channel name, but whatever, the third person go off and skate a little bit, I think that's what happened, I'm not completely sure, I didn't like follow them or something, but I just saw them kind of walk off with their boards, and so that the third person actually got a chance to really kind of have some fun with it. Um, I know it's kind of a bland story, and I know it's kind of dumb because not a lot happened besides the fact that Pete eventually got his skateboard taken away for the rest of the day, which I didn't mention, but now I just did, so, you know, whatever. But it's just a judgmentless, kind of immature childlike memory I hold because it was so just it was very calming and stress-free and that's an environment I don't really get a lot so yeah I'm glad I could share it with you guys so that's the end of the story I hope you guys enjoyed it um you know I'm just gonna let you enjoy the last little couple of seconds of this speed paint so you know just have fun, I guess.